morning welcome back to another vlog today is monday morning it's actually a holiday today and we're just driving to meet well we just drove i don't know why i said driving we're, we're just getting ready to meet our friends josh and noelle for coffee and we've never really done like a morning weekday coffee date with friends but this is like what it's like being in your 30s it's really fun to plan daytime dates instead of evening time so that's what we're doing drew standing out in the rain we gotta go we're going to a coffee shop called sight glass i've heard lots of really good things about it and we've never been before so let's go let's go walk in the rain i'm kind of scared Aye! i got a wee bit wet okay. it's fine that's a river la is not made for this weather what what we have to cross a river to get there Going to Tokyo <laughs> again. Wee! <laughs> Possibly. I'm just kidding. We just finished coffee with our friends, <laughs> and they're gonna come over because we were talking about how we re started rewatching Tokyo Vice, and they were the ones. I'm pretty sure who told us about the show, and they had seen it first, and then told us about it, and then we all just like became obsessed with it, and we went to Tokyo together last year. And Drew and I have kind of been talking about going again, and they had kind of been talking about going again, and we have, every time we've hung out since Tokyo last year, we've also talked about going again together. And we were like, hmm. And so then just like, we kind of started being like, well, we could, we could go back, and we have talked about going back. And Josh had texted us back in like, December or January with like really good deals and we were all kind of joking Delta like haha was we should having, go. Delta was having like a sale like a yeah I, I don't know airline yeah it was some sort of sale and it was like if you book within like these weeks between January and February I think tickets were like six hundred dollars yeah and we didn't do that because no. we were worried it was gonna be too cold what idiots yeah we're idiots for sure well we'll see it's likely probably gonna be like in the fall time oh my gosh okay side note we're in our old neighborhood we're driving through where we used to live in LA a few years ago and we went to this Ralph's right here during the pandemic like the very beginning beginning of the pandemic I vlogged it I don't know if it's still in my it was we went on be. like on a Thursday it, it was like everything was shut down like that following Monday. It was chaotic. Like people were in the grocery store acting a fool. Like they're gonna shut down everything. Everyone and like there was that one there lady was who was talking about she was hysterical. The military coming or the something. Military's gonna come and blah blah blah. Oh my it felt like the apocalypse and we were just like this thing is gonna last two weeks. Like who cares? Well that's what everyone was saying we're gonna shut down for like two weeks. Yeah. Was this there? Um they were building it when we were living over here. I don't think we've ever been to that target though. Definitely not. We've been to the other one further down. Which is weird because it's literally Yeah, that would have been our that would have been really close. But it's like one of those little ones, I think. Yeah, it's like a city target. Anywho, Ooh. this is a long clip for no reason other than to say we had a great time at coffee. Sight glass was good. It did take them several tries to get our order right. Whoa. It was just a struggle. They were really busy, but it's a really, really cool space, especially if you're like co-working with someone or you went yeah. to like a business meeting. Very big space. You want to work on your laptop for a while, like especially on a day when it's not raining, there's an entire like back patio as well. It's beautiful. But it was so, busy. Yeah, really, really cool though. So anyway, okay, I'm going home and getting in my sweats. How about you? I'm going to book a trip to Japan. All right. Bye. Bye. Hello, we're back. It is much later, it's almost two o'clock. Actually, our friends just left. They ended up coming back to ours for, hello? Because we wanted to watch the new season of Tokyo Vice, but then we decided to start it over again. Because there's just like a lot that's happened that we've completely forgotten about. So, didn't book any flights or anything like that, but we have been talking about it. So anyway, we ordered our groceries this week because we were too lazy to go out and get some. So, we got some ice cream sandwiches. This is the Skinny Cow brand. Drew and I just ended up getting these and they're really good. Really like those. Got some true fruit. I am scared to talk about this. I actually don't know if I've talked about these a lot on my channel because I don't, like everyone is starting to talk about them and it's making me nervous because they're sold out everywhere. But these are the best frozen treats ever. They're strawberries, or sorry, these are raspberries with a layer of white chocolate and then a layer of dark chocolate and they're frozen and they're 
divine. I got some frozen edamame and frozen corn just to have, because you never know. This bag, <laughs> this bag is unwell. Okay, next up we got a couple of meats. We got some ground turkey. This is two things of ground turkey. I don't think I ordered two, but we got two. So we got two, you know. <laughs> got some almond milk, of course. I use almond milk in like my smoothies, bowls of cereal, etc. I got some cotton candy grapes and some raspberries. Cotton candy grapes are truly God's gift to earth. They're delicious. Some cuties. Fun fact, my brother, my little brother, <laughs> ate an entire pack of these one time when he was like five and he had diarrhea for like four days. Great I got story. a, <laughs> great story. I got a pad thai, this is just like a pad thai veggie stir fry kit. It's just the vegetables. And I think there's a sauce in there, but I just figured it'd be better than getting like a whole pack of everything. So just some veggies to have like a stir fry or a, I don't know, whatever. I got an oat milk and I also got the barista blend almond milk because I just wanted to try it. Cause like if it's creamier, maybe it'll be maybe. good. And like, I don't know, I'm, I've been wanting to switch it up with my coffee a little bit. So I'm gonna try that. These four bags, the rain just is simply no match. Oh my God, it's the most chicken I've ever seen in my life. We got a huge pack of chicken breasts and we just like divvy these up into smaller Ziploc bags and just keep them in the freezer for when we wanna make a meal. Also got some tilapia to have a nice little, I like like a lemon pepper or a, yeah, like a lemon pepper tilapia. But we also got a bunch of new seasonings recently so we can try some of those as well. We got some Mexican shredded cheese. I love doing like a cheesy roll up in the microwave. That's like my, um, it's like your college era drunk meal that like I still eat regularly. <laughs> we got two packs of Yakult for Drew. He likes his probiotics. I've heard good things about the Laughing Cow, like spreading the Laughing Cow cheese. On, I don't think I've ever had one of these before. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you just spread them on like a wrap or whatever. Got some string cheese. Got some turkey breast. Two more bags. This is kind of a quicker grocery haul today because it's kind of boring. There's nothing exciting. Like we got some green beans because the last ones we had went bad, unfortunately. We did eat half of them. Green abinas. Yeah, when I was little, I called them green abinas. Got some spinach for like wraps and things. I also put them in my smoothies. Some strawberries. I really want to try to make these TikTok recipes that I've seen. Well, I haven't seen them on TikTok because I'm not on TikTok anymore, but I've seen people show them on like YouTube and Instagram where it's kind of like you make like a frozen fruit bark. It's like sliced strawberries or bananas, a layer of peanut butter, and a layer of chocolate, and then you freeze it. So that sounds good. Got some Greek yogurt. I'm trying to play around with my yogurts and see how I feel about it. So like maybe sweetening my own because I'm getting a little bored with the same yogurts. Got some eggs. Got it. These are like some of the best eggs. They are insanely expensive, but it's like the oranges yolks that are delicious. Last bag, we got a lifetime supply of bananas, as per usual. Drew and I each eat at least one banana per day, love it. Got some chocolate rice cakes, some tuna, some syrup, some mirin, we were out of mirin. This is like a Japanese cooking rice wine, I think. 8% alcohol. Turn up. We were out of soy sauce. This is not the one that I ordered, but that's okay. <laughs> Got some buffalo sauce. Okay. Cause I saw a recipe for like a buffalo chicken wrap or something like that. I'm like, I'll do that for lunch. Got some more tuna. We got black beans and garbanzo beans, AKA chickpeas, just to have for like random bowls and stuff. I am always and forever a crystal light girly. Like, I love this. This is raspberry lemonade. I've had it since I was a kid. Got some ranch packets to do like a little, you know, little ranch seasoning moment with the buffalo chicken. Got some mini chocolate chips. Drew and I have been eating these like crack. You don't eat something like crack, I don't know. It's just been- <laughs> I love eating crack. <laughs> it's been like the best little snack. And if you watched my last vlog when I was reading, it's like a little bowl of popcorn, a little bowl of mini chocolate chips. Wow. Beautiful, and then I also needed them for the recipe that I was talking about, we melt the chocolate. And then last but not least, some crispy edamame. We got these, uh, I don't know, a few weeks ago, a month ago or something like that, and we really liked them. 
So there we have it. <coughs> also, chocolate rice cakes slap so hard. These with like almond butter or peanut butter and sliced banana on top. I love it. I love it so much. Anyway, that's my grocery haul. <laughs> It is actually the next day now. It's Wednesday. It's a beautiful sunny day now. The sun is actually out, so I'm actually happy about that. I took a nice long walk this morning, listened to my podcast. I've been listening to Scamanda. I think a lot of you have recommended it to me actually, and that's how I found it. But I haven't listened to a podcast in a while. It's been, I don't know, a few months since I stopped listening to The Teacher's Pet that I loved, but it's over. And obviously I didn't have anything in the meantime. So I think I was listening to like, Kristen Cavallari's podcast a little bit. I preferred the Laguna Beach one. So anyway, I have been hooked. Like from the first probably five minutes, I was like, oh my God, it's so good. I cannot recommend it enough. If you like any kind of like, it's not even true crime. I mean, there is, a, I guess, crime involved, but it's just like a kind of mystery type of thing and very like scam, obviously scam Manda. It's truly wild. I think I'm only on the fourth episode and there are maybe like 10 or 12 and I'm like looking forward to it every day. I actually just skipped doing a workout video this morning just because I wanted to go outside and like walk and listen to this podcast. So anyway, I did that this morning. I had a lovely editing day yesterday in the rain. It was just like so, so cozy and like, uh, it was just the best. I love this office. It's so cozy in here. I love having like my desk set up in here now with my chair. I can just do computer work all day long and not have to sit over on the couch. So like getting the outlet situation fixed in this office has just been like mwah. So anyway, I'm actually currently filming at the moment. That's why this setup is happening, but I realized I needed to continue this vlog because my scatterbrain is not good at keeping up with this stuff, but I really want a snack, but I'm like halfway through filming. So I'm gonna try to finish that first and then maybe we'll like make some lunch or something. But yeah, pretty boring stuff. Nothing that exciting other than I fake tanned. The sun is out. I washed my hair and I'm feeling cute. I have blue eyeliner on. How fun and exciting. So anyway, I'm gonna get back to filming and then we will catch up in a bit. It is um, not only past lunchtime, but it's actually dinner time at the moment. And um, I wanted to try a recipe while our dinner is cooking because I have been so curious to try this. It sounded so good. It's like a frozen raspberry yogurt thing. I did talk about um, the bark that we wanted to try, the like strawberry and banana peanut butter chocolate bark, but our bananas like aren't ripe enough yet. They're still a little green. So let me stir this chicken real quick. <laughs> So it's not that same recipe, but it's similar. So you do like a little bit of plain Greek yogurt. I have been loving this. I like a really tart, tangy yogurt. So like, I've been loving this in my yogurt parfaits in the morning. You can like sweeten it with like honey or maple syrup or whatever you want. And I've been loving it. So then I'm gonna sweeten it with a little bit of honey. This is obviously optional, but raspberries are pretty tart. So I'm gonna put like a teaspoon. You cracking a cold one? You cracked open a cherry or like water. Cherry beer. Show it. There's his libation of choice for the evening. So yeah, we're gonna mix up this yogurt and honey. Then you take some raspberries. I can't remember if I washed these or not, so maybe I should wash them again just to be sure. But you take some raspberries and you mix them in here and you kind of like mash them up a little bit so that it makes like a mixture. And then you melt chocolate and you put little dollops of chocolate on top and they kind of are these little discs or like balls of fruit and chocolate and yogurt. It's amazing. Okay, got our washed raspberries. I'm gonna put in like, I 
feel like it needs more, but I could be wrong. Okay, now I'm gonna take this and just kind of like mix it in and mash it up. I mean, I don't, I don't know, I'm kind of winging it. I don't know if you're supposed to mash it or not, but like that just looks really good to me. So, okay, I'm gonna get a little tray with some parchment paper, put some dollops of this, and then melt the chalkies. Just kidding, we're out of parchment paper. I'm just gonna do a little plate. Do I need tin foil? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I'm gonna do a little dollop. I'm trying to remember where I saw this. I, I must have seen it on like an Instagram reel or something. Then I think I'm gonna take just a teensy, teensy tiny bit of coconut oil and put it in here and then microwave it for like 30 seconds. It's gonna do like that much. You used that when you made the other bark, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's really good for like melting the top. ADHD chaos in action. Let's microwave this. We'll do it like 30 seconds. I stirred it and did it for like another 15-ish seconds. This should be good, let's see. That is beautiful. The coconut oil just helps it become like that. Like more drizzleable, I guess. Here goes nothing. These are cute. Very homemade. <laughs> I'm gonna find a place for these and we're gonna freeze them until we're done eating dinner and then we'll see what they're like. All right, it is dinner time. We're making up a very, very quick and easy dinner. Why people are your fry now. <laughs> We've got microwave rice. We did a stir fry kit and some chicken from literally like Ralph's. Or no, I guess it was Amazon Fresh. So we'll do some of that. And okay, then I'm gonna do like a tiny drizzle of soy sauce, because why not? I'm a soy sauce girly. Okay, a little bit of that. A little bit of sriracha. Do you want any more of this? Because there's not like a lot left. I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat it all. We can save it for tomorrow. And then I'll do a little bit of furikake on top. And there you have it. Quick and easy. And then um, we've been obsessed with these hint waters. They're so good. I have a sparkling water with my lunch and hint water with my dinner. And it's so good. And this is the watermelon flavor. It's like a flat LaCroix, but like in a good way. I don't know, it's just really good. It's, like it says, a hint of flavor. And this watermelon is the one. Hint of watermelon. Mm-hmm. We're gonna go watch Tokyo Vice. And, oh, and I think there's another Abbott Elementary. Or is that tomorrow? No, tomorrow. <sighs> we don't got a lot to tell Without Love Island, we're lost. Love Island All-Stars ended a couple days ago. It was a good season. It was just like... Boring. There, it got boring after a while. I don't want new people. Yeah, we're new ready people. for a season with new people, so. That'll be coming in the summer. All right, time to go eat dinner. E-T-Y-L. Wow. Well. All right, we've just had dinner, well, actually like an hour ago, and finished our episode, and now we're gonna try these little, these little yogurt things. I don't know if I froze them for too long. Here's what they look like out of the freezer. They kind of look like um, peppermint, like chocolate peppermint something. Okay, cute. I guess I'm just gonna bite into it. Interesting. What's wrong? I think I should have sweetened the yogurt more. Like it definitely shouldn't have been this tart. But like I'm still eating it. Are the rice very sweet or are they just adding to the tartness? Let me try. Each one. Hmm. I think I like it. I think it's growing on me. I think this would be better with like a sweetened yogurt. Like a vanilla yogurt or something that's like pre-sweetened because then it's like sweeter and just, I don't know. The raspberries are really tart and the yogurt's really tart, but the chocolate is really sweet on top. If you like super, super tart things, then try it, but it's not exactly what I expected, but still pretty good. I mean, I'm gonna eat another one, so. Mm. It is in fact the next day and I am still wearing the same sweatshirt. I have showered, don't worry. But um, I realized I never ended this vlog. This vlog's kind of been all over the place, but the dessert was good. I would recommend like a sweetened yogurt though, like I mentioned, like a vanilla yogurt would be perfect for that. Or even like a flavored yogurt would be better. But yeah, I just realized I never ended this vlog. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. And I will see you very soon in the next vlog.
Bye.